Hey everyone, this is Nate from NateScreenPrints.com and I'm going to show you how I took a photo with my phone, I took a picture of the image I wanted to put on my t-shirt, and then made a screen printing screen and screen print on a t-shirt. This, this process is so easy, it's going to take less than an hour. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the image I want to put on my t-shirt. Here it is, I've got my copy of V for Vendetta. And once I have it open to the right page, this is the image I want on my t-shirt. I'm going to take a picture of it with my phone. So I'm going to center it. Take the picture. Now you can see there's the image I'm going to use. The next thing I need to do is email that image to myself and on my computer I'm going to use Inkscape which is a completely free program to prepare the image to be put on transparency. So after I email it to myself I simply drag and drop it to the desktop and then once I had Inkscape open I drag and dropped it right into Inkscape. So now here I went to path trace bitmap use the brightness cutoff and said OK. And so now it's going to give me a perfectly black image of the image I want to use. You can see there it's got the, the color of the paper in the background. I want to get rid of that. So the only thing that's left is just the black part. I'm going to path trace bitmap does that for me. Now I'm going to go to object and transform. And I want to scale it down. I need it to be smaller to fit on my page. As you can see that page right there, that's, what, that's an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. I'm going to center it. And then I want to remove that black splotch there, so I'm just going to draw a white square over it. And that's it. Now it's ready to be printed onto my transparency. And I'm just using a plain old regular inkjet printer I got from Walmart. It costs about $25, if that. So I say print. Now you can see my image is coming out onto my transparency. Alright, so once I have my image, I'll, I'll let the ink dry for a little bit. I don't want to smear anything. So once it dries, then I'm going to cut off this white tab I have at the top. The screen, the transparencies I buy have this white top, this white tab at the very top, um, just to help it load into the printer. But I don't want it messing up my screen, so I cut it off. All right now, I've got my packet of easy screen print screens. Uh, there's a link down below where you can get these. These are emulsion sheets that already have the screen on them. So I'm going to remove the piece of plastic that comes that protects the emulsion. I'm going to place the sheet down, the emulsion side up, the shiny side up, on my exposure board. And then I'm going to lay down my image as a reverse image of how I want it to look on my t-shirt. So that's how I want it to look, I have to put it backwards down on the emulsion sheet. Or the easy screen print sheet. Once I have the image lined up where I want it on my easy screen print sheet, I'll place the glass board on top and then clamp it down to hold it in place. And then I'm going to be using this artificial light source. You can use the sun, it only takes about a minute in the sun, but I like to use this artificial light source so I can do my exposures anytime during the day and I know exactly how long it's going to take and it takes me about 10 to 12 minutes doing it this way. So it's been about 10 to 12 minutes and now I'm going to let the sheet soak in water for 30 minutes. So I'm submerging my easy screen print sheet in water and you can see the image is burned into that screen. And now that water is going to dissolve all the places where the light didn't touch because my transparency was on top. My image was blocking the light. So everywhere the light was blocked, it rinses out. And you can't see it, but there's a mesh there's a mesh screen on the back of that emulsion, holding the emulsion in place. 
So now once I've allowed it to dry, I'm going to take my easy screen print sheet and attach it to my shirt using blue painter's tape. I like to use blue painter's tape because it it's uh, it's hold, it's strong enough to hold it in place, but it's not so strong that it's going to damage or leave residue behind when I, when I peel it off. And to do this image, I'm going to be using Speedball Black Fabric Ink. This is the ink that came in the, the kit that I bought at Easy Screen Print. It's one of the inks that came with it. So now once I have my ink on the screen, I just use a squeegee, it also came in the kit. And hold it at a 45 degree angle, angle to spread the ink across the shirt. And then I hold it up at a 90 degree angle to remove the excess. And once I'm sure I've gotten all the areas covered with ink, I'll remove the blue painter's tape. and then remove the stencil. And you can see the ink has gone through and it's given me a perfect image on my screen. The next thing to do is to rinse off the screen. These screens are permanent. Once you once you've made them, you can make literally hundreds of prints. You can, you can screen print hundreds of t-shirts. Just after you get done using it, you gotta rinse off the ink off the screen, leave it dry, and it's ready to go again. And now you can see how much detail is really capable, how much detail you we are capable of getting using that sheet. It came out looking really good. All right, I went over everything here pretty quickly, but if you want to see how screen printing really works, I have a link down below on why screen printing works. If you have questions about how I did the Inkscape, how I created that image. I've got another video, and I'm going to put it down below. It's called Creating Vectors, Creating Vector Images. I'll leave that in the link down below. And thanks very much for watching.